What's a simple way of using sidechain compression to duck music underneath a narration or a voice track? Let's have a look at that here in Reaper. Firstly, what I'll do is add a compressor to the music. And we're actually looking to compress it without any makeup gain. We're not going to add makeup gain because we actually just want to reduce the overall volume. So I would say let's try a ratio relatively high. I'm just going to try around about 10 in this example. And the important part is usually a compressor uses, um, it detects the input of its own channel. So like if I hit play now, once upon a time, this green readout's showing what the music's doing here. In order to do side chain, we have to actually bring in the narration track as our detector input. So the simplest way would be to click on the routing button here on the uh, music and set it to receive the narration. And we want it to come from the main channels of the narration track, but actually come in on three and four. So new channels, um, you probably would have had to do new channels and select three and four. And then it's coming in on those extra channels of audio there. Then within the compressor effect, if you go to auxiliary inputs, it actually uses the three and the four. So now when we look at this, once upon a time, there was a little, the green indicator is only firing up once my voice starts there. Once upon a time, there was a little, but as yet we don't have any compression going on, the gain reduction is not occurring until we bring the threshold down. So let's now start to bring the threshold down so that uh, when my voice is detected, it will reduce the volume of the, um, of the music. It will reduce the volume of the music. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Goldilocks. She went walking in the woods one day. And you see there, when it detected my... Um, I'll just be with you in a minute. Cast. Yeah, that's right. You see there, when it detected my voice, it just reduced the audio by around about 11 at its loudest reduction. I'll just have a look at that again. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Goldilocks. Now, what we, we don't want the uh, compressor to be quite as responsive we want it to sort of stay compressed a little bit longer than it is. So I'm just going to make the release time a little bit longer. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Goldilocks. She went walking in the woods one day and smelt something delicious coming See from now, over. Now the compressor's kind of just um, keeping that level of compression more consistent across each sort of little block of audio. And then the music's allowed to return to its full volume in between those vocal parts. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Goldilocks. She went walking in the woods one day and smelt something delicious coming from over there. Now the music's not going to mask the voice because the, the music is allowed to sort of peak out around about minus three there when the voice is not there. But when the voice is coming in, you see it's reducing all the way down to like minus 15-ish. And that voice is coming through crystal clear and not being masked by the music. So it's a great way of having the music be allowed to sort of feature in certain moments, but then not get in the way of your narration and the thing that the listener has to really hear. Um, these, this kind of sidechain compression is used a lot in radio, uh, in live radio, and you hear it in all sorts of um, broadcast situations. So it, it is a slightly more advanced technique than what we've looked at so far. But I'd highly encourage if you're creating some kind of an advertisement or something that sounds like a um, perhaps an audio book with music or some kind of fake advertisement for a bit of a practice, you know, any kind of those activities where the music needs impact in certain moments but needs to come down out the way, then that's when we use a sidechain compressor to duck the music out the way of the voice. Good luck with that. And if you've got any questions, hit me up in the comments below.